Welcome to Nerd Alert, everyone. Guess what? We survived San Diego Comic-Con. I am joined this week by a friend of mine and a friend of yours, Miss Jenna Bush. Jenna was, of course, covering Comic-Con all the way through. Oh, God. Hardcore. She went to the famous Star Wars uh, panel that turned into a concert and Kevin Smith's great disappointment. Yes. <laughs> yes, but I got my fifth lightsaber, so I'm happy. I feel like you came out ahead for sure. I did. I did. I did. Yes, I'm really, really tired. <laughs> We're going to talk about something uh, right off the bat, a big hit at Comic-Con this year, and that is, of course, the Suicide Squad trailer. Right, now, right, right. Warner Brothers isn't exactly happy that it leaked on the internet, Oops. but I would say you should be happy with how people feel about it and how much they love it. Let's take a look. Sorry about the crazy ones. Huh? I only see oh, I'm not gonna kill you. That the joke was on me. I'm just gonna hurt you. Really, really. So I have a lot to say about this. I, I, I too think you do have too. a lot to say about this. Um, I do like how this uh, was framed. We have Amanda Waller with her government friends, mm -hmm. and one of them asks, "Some of these people have abilities." And we look at uh, Cara Delevingne. She's yep. in a cave, looking normal, mm -hmm. uh, but then terrified. I'm assuming she's about to be possessed with the Enchantress, which is half like half re like in this trailer she looks sometimes terrified out of place and sometimes mm -hmm. she looks stone cold scary and that all of these abilities started to happen after superman appeared mhm mm that was sort of interesting um okay but i do have to say something about the trailer leaking mm -hmm. and what warner brothers Let's said do it so the trailer was not it, like it was actually given to fans um in hall h and um then warner brothers was very upset and they made a statement yesterday or 2 days ago saying that it wasn't going to come out um, they had no plans and that they were disappointed that this trust that they had with their fans was broken because your 6,000 closest friends who stood in line and are random people. Yeah, like no one's going to put that on their YouTube channel. Come on. And honestly, like I applaud them for trying to do something for the people that stood in line for that long. But mm -hmm. it doesn't work like that anymore. It just doesn't work like that. I mean, this happens to Marvel almost every time. Mm -hmm. And I think it's something you have to take in stride. And yeah. You know, you got to put it out there and you got to own it. And I think that's what they should have done. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's like putting a bunch of kids in a room full of cookies and saying, don't eat those. Like, come on, <laughs> 6,000 children, someone's going to eat the cookie. And, um, but I, I think it was, I think it was really interesting. I'm more intrigued to see this than I am to see Batman v Superman. Mm -hmm. Um, I have to say though, the, like, the I Started a Joke song is in the exact same key as the I've Got No Strings from the Age of Ultron that's, trailer starts on the same That is the note. trend. You play, mm -hmm. every uh, trailer has a sad, slow version of a song. Yep, yep. The yeah. joke is on me. That was good with Convoy, I like it. I've got no strings, you know? <laughs> yeah, it starts exactly the same note, but, but <laughs> it was really pretty, I like it. Oh, I'm a professional singer. That's good. That's good. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, but but um, I, I don't know how, and I know we were talking about this beforehand, I don't know how I feel about Hot Topic Joker. I, I have very strange feelings, because on one, yeah. I want to, no, not in that way. Oh. Not oh. sexual. Um, I, I don't know, like, I understand we want to make a new take on Joker. Mm -hmm. You cannot, like, build on what Heath Ledger did. That is right. his own thing. That it will live on its own forever. But at the same time, it's kind of weird. He he reminded me more of maybe a juggalo than the Joker. Yeah, and I sort of got the feeling that his voice sounded very much like Jack Nicholson. Mm -hmm. um, I felt like some of the movements were Heath Ledger. It sort of felt like somebody doing a really good imitation of the two earlier Jokers combined. Um, I, I don't know. I mean, look, I could end up loving it. I could. Maybe. Might. We're still at an early stage. Yeah, I'm so. trying to be as open-minded as possible. Yeah. 
but at the same time, I'm not sure I love this interpretation. Uh, but I did really enjoy Margot Robbie yeah. as Harley. Yeah. And we got some different shots I wanted to talk about a little bit. So it seems like there's a point that's pre-crazy mm -hmm. Harley, where she's still Dr. Harleen Quinzel. Yeah. Um, I'm not sure if when Joker's walking in with the trench coat and the goons, when one of them's dressed like Batman hilariously. I know, if right? That's, Animated if that's Batman. When they capture her. Or yeah. it's, it's, they're kind of rewriting the, the mad love story, I yeah. think. Um, but then she she goes crazy that night. And so when we have we have Harley uh, up on the tissues yeah. in, in the little, <laughs> her little cell. Is she is this very soon after she's met the Joker? So she's not totally crazy yet or she's at her maybe she's at her height crazy. I don't know. Yeah, I can't quite figure it out. I feel like there was a lot of timeline shifting going on. Mm -hmm. So I, I can't. And also, who's Panda Guy? I think he's one of Joker's gang. Okay. All yeah. right, just checking because, you know, I was confused by Panda Guy. It's like, sh I should know that. I know lots of stuff about DC. Who's Panda Guy? Nothing came. So. I think he's a Joker's. I think so, too. Henchman type dude. So too. Though he's just not dressed, you know, in tra traditional Joker regalia. Yeah, and it looks like Deadshot's going to be um, sympathetic. I think this whole thing is going to be tragic and sympathetic. Yeah. I mean, we looked at um, we we looked at uh, the shot of him hugging his daughter twice, yeah. and it was, you know, I think what we're going to see is kind of a sympathy for the devil kind of thing, mm. and then we're going to see them as tragic characters. And you know what? Inevitably. Some of them are going to die off through the course of the yep. movie, and it's going to probably hurt. Yeah. Which is great from a cinematic perspective. Yeah. But I kind of expected more humor out of this. I did, too. So, I, I was expecting it to be, like, a Guardian's takeoff. Yeah, but, I mean, I guess we'll see, because, you know, trailers don't always, you know, like, uh, the Avengers Age of Ultron trailer was mind-blowing, and I didn't love the movie, so I didn't hate the movie. I just didn't love it. The way I love other Marvel movies, mm -hmm. but um, but so I, I mean, I, this is a first look. It's really interesting. Please, no more cutting meat shots. Like this, just just stop with that. What does what the cutting meat shot they symbolize? They just k killing somebody, and Amanda Waller's like, yeah, I'm totally gonna like totally screw with these guys, and meat cutting. <laughs> How many movies? In fact, put Amanda it in the comments. Amanda Waller is not a nice person. No, and I, they no, want but us to get that. The casting is awesome, by the way, but. But, no, she's a wonderful actress. Amanda Waller, though, horrible yes, person. Yes, not good. But you know what? <laughs> and she eats meat, but I don't know if there's a correlation. But seriously, like in the comments, I eat meat. please write every shot that you can remember from a movie or a trailer where someone's cutting meat symbolically. Don't do that. Stop. <laughs> it's stupid. It's dumb. I'm better now. Where's the beef? <laughs> anyway, the um, I would trailer. also like to see in the comments below writing your own take of uh, certain shots. Like I was... I'm trying to figure out what Harley is up to, where, where we've seen this Harley before, uh, at what point in the Harley Quinn saga, saga Harley and Quinzel saga are we, uh, et cetera. And then Enchant Enchantress, I was also trying to figure out, uh, based on the shots, where we are with her. Uh, but guess what? There's a whole bunch of other characters in there, and I want to hear about them. Of course, we have Killer Croc with practical makeup. Yeah, I know. Nice. I know. Uh, so let us know your thoughts below in the comments, and please be sure to subscribe for more. <laughs>